Okay. Welcome to the classic series for April 2017. April? Yeah. And um, April, yeah. I have decided that we're not going to discuss the selections from 40 years ago anymore. Why not? Because it's too depressing. Uh -uh. It's way too depressing. Because you know what they were? No. I didn't look it up. You did. 1973 Parducci Petit Syrah, which I remember <laughs> very well. Unbelievable bottle wine. Absolutely incredible bottle. Thank you. Thank you. All right. But it gets worse. Speaking of that, we, did, we just did a special. You, you know what the white was? I do not. Bouchard Premier Cru Chablis <laughs> Forcham, $5.69 a bottle. You can't buy that wine for okay, 10 well, times we just, that wait a minute. Yeah, we just bought some Chablis. Some, uh, I don't know what district it was. Well, Chablis, but I don't know what, if it was a video related. But anyway, I, I think I paid wholesale pre-sale, which is cheaper than the landed price, $35 a bottle. Right. That's about right. Wholesale. That yeah. so means 50-something on the show. Exactly. At least. So, so I, I, it was wow. too depressing. It was That's, just too depressing. Blame. You know, I don't blame you. That's I mean, a tough one. Wow. I mean, oh, well, my dad loves Chablis, though. I do, too. I mean, I, he, he, your dad introduced me to Chablis 45 okay, so years ago. You the know? 16s that uh, Jadot is bringing in, the whites. Well, I'm sure they're out of this they're world. Phenomenal. Well, I, I had some 15s of, of uh, somebody else, uh, Druan, that were out of this world. I mean, absolutely phenomenal wines, but anyhow. I'm impressed. Okay, you want to taste some wine, or well, are you just going to keep talking? Speaking of Petit Syrah. Um, oh, the Petit Syrah was so good. God, that was so good. Which one? The 73 Petit Sorrow. No, I'm Sorrow talking Parnicia. about the, uh, the email special we just did. The LD, we'll taste it today at the corporate meeting. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that. I, I couldn't taste believe it. this wine. I kept tasting it going, wow. It's got a little bit of anise in the finish. It's got black. It's really good. This is really fun. This is a really nice wine. This is a really, really nice wine. I was very upset about this, actually. Uh, but, we placed but, the order. They saying? brought me the wine. We tasted it. We said yes. We featured the four star, the, I think the 13 or the 12. We just, the guy just makes good wine. And... Uh, we just got a phone call. The guy says, I can't fill the order. I can't sell it to you. <laughs> I'm like, you just love I, that. wait a minute. We've written a newsletter. We've got a, people are waiting for it. I've written the newsletter. Yeah, and now uh, i got to write another one. And I'm like, I emailed him. And then for no reason, after I sent him a voicemail, he says, all right, uh, you'll have the contract in an hour. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, boy, this, you know, this really is a nice great one. blend. This is really, really, I remember tasting it the first time going, this is for that kind of money? Are you kidding me? $14.99 a shelf is a great price. $7.99 a reorder is just insanity. You know, sometimes uh, when we taste these blends and we people blend off wine to make them, to get rid of bad stuff and sort of hide it. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple of those last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But this is not the case. This, no, no, this, this is This is well balanced. You get the structure of the grape. You get mm -hmm. the structure of the different components. Now it's a 95 for me. I agree. I agree you know, I mean, well, you know, what you do when you're blending is you blend toward the strengths and away from the weaknesses. So the, the fact is, you know, you could taste all the blends in here. None of them by themselves are good, but, you know, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Really good. Excellent wine. And that was something completely different. Oh, this oh, is cool. another wine. You know, <laughs> how many Oak Grove wines have we had? Okay, how many? You know, like 275, <laughs> whatever. He sends this to me, he goes, you're the first one to get it. You know, I'm like, which I always love being the first one to get it. This is one of the best wines I've know, ever tasted from Oak Grove. I don't I mean, know why unbelievable. Where he does this, and, he, and it's such limited distribution. And this is like classic song, but you wouldn't, not just California, it, it's got all if kinds of you would have care. told me this wine sells for 20 bucks, I would not argue. I wouldn't argue one dip. This is a $20 Sauvignon Blanc that you can buy for $6.99. Absolutely out of this world. You know what I like about it? Wines in this price range usually this kind of wine that you would look at the label, California, big co-op. Usually they're, they're sugared. That's true. They cut yeah, you're right. You're this right. is just this a is nice just fat a body. But the nose on this wine, this wine's got all that all that ripe peach and white nectarine and guava and pear and and, and the acidity and the granite and the I mean it's just it's ridiculous. It's a great it's a, wine. It's, a, it's 100 meal. points. 100 point wine. What? It's 100 point wine. Go out. 100 so, so points. Find me 6.99 Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, it's half as good as this. Half as good. Right. I mean, there isn't any wine. There really isn't. You know, I mean, it's. The only thing better than this wine is the next white we're doing. <laughs> you know, it's right. He's, Ed's right though. You will not find with all the wines we taste in this category, okay. particularly Sauvignon Blanc, which can be too bright, it can be too acidic, it can be too that, way out of balance. That's typically. a perfect Sauvignon Blanc for for seven bucks. Incredible, ninety six. 
I gotta save some room in there. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, this is our buddy uh, Dos Copas. We've yeah, had for no. a few years, and this is a wonderful family-run importer from Argentina. Yeah, except these these grapes came from Chile, and I write the article going from go, from the standpoint that oh, two copas is, is uh, Argentine. And I get the report back from the well. No, it's chili. What do you mean it's chili? It's, it was Argentine the last time. Yeah, I know. Well, but it's a family thing, you know. So it's a family thing, and and they um, and they kept the name. You know, who cares? Dos but, Copas. So I'm writing about the Argentine Dos Copas, and it's the Chilean but Dos Copas. When you smell this wine, it's it's definitely chili. chili. Yeah, no, no, it's not like Argentine. Green pepper it's, and mm-hmm. green olive. Wow. And I, you know what I love about the Chilean grapes, the Chilean blends, uh, cabs and merlots, is that you get this. The beginning is that greenness, that uh, terroir, and then you get those berries. You get that nose. rich get... fruit in the mid palate. Fifteen ninety nine a shelf, seven ninety nine killer killer Cabernet for eight bucks, ninety six. And you can see how this goes with like a, a, a flank steak with. Um, what's You're getting the, creative now. Watch what's out. the Argentinian? Green? Oh yeah, that's uh, chimichurri. chimichurri sauce. Yeah, oh, man, right. I oh, love man. that. Oh, that's really good stuff. Except it's Chilean. I know. You, that's, you can't. Well, you can't. You can't serve. You can't. you can't serve Argentine food with Chilean wine. Mm-hmm. You know, it's written. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that's it's a delicious. nice six for me. Yeah. You know, it's not too verbose either, right? It's just perfectly balanced. Well, not everything around here is verbose, <clears throat> including not you. No, including not me. Oh, now this wine. I t- take this home. I taste it because so I can write the newsletter, and I drink it. And I go, "You got to be kidding me! You have got to be." As a matter of fact, I emailed them. And I said, "Are you kidding? I mean, did you, are you, did you put this in the wrong club?" Actually, you know what I'm gonna do when I, when you guys see this, uh, the accompanying video is gonna be with the winemaker of this wine, the Melvin Masters. He's Ed and I were just talking about him off camera. He's a wonderful guy. You'll see his personality in the video. But he, he finds these wines in these different parts of the world, all over, from California to France, and he he's I don't know where he, he sources this stuff, and he does a great job. Meaning. When you taste the Lodi red from him, it tastes like Lodi red. And when you taste the Bordeaux from him, it tastes like Bordeaux. Well, white Bordeaux for six ninety nine is unheard Stupid. of. I mean, it's very expensive because there's not much of it made. There isn't that big of a demand, and there should be. Wow. I just had a white Bordeaux for twenty bucks that wasn't as good as this. And I'm just no. Gonna, there's that, a lot that, of those. I mean, that's what, and it's amazing. And what a great contrast to taste this Bordeaux Sauvignon Blanc versus the California version. Two of the best whites we've had all They're year. Totally different. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's hope so. If they were similar, I'd be worried. <laughs> so watch the Melvin Masters video that's accompanying these, and I think you'll find them uh, very interesting. Did you already do it? I did it a long time ago. Oh, shoot, that. because I would have loved to come here. I'd, I'd drive all the way up here to see he'll Melvin. Come, he'll come anytime we want. Well, where's, where's he living? He's in New York, though. Oh, okay. Well, he's out right. here. Anyway, um, okay, this is a 97 for me. I mean, $16.99 in shelf, $6.99 reorder. It's amazing. I'm going to 96. I, I think this is a great example of what it's mm. supposed to be. Despite the price, despite the price, we don't take that into consideration. He all he prefaces every wine, sometimes. every wine that he that he prefaces talking about with the price, but it, it doesn't make any difference. No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, hey, way to go! Ed. And that's our show for today, April, twenty seventeen. Oh. Cheers.